So I've got Friday favorites and buoys for you today, and I've got some good things to share with you, mainly eyes and lips. Um, my blush favorites, they were just kind of a continuation from last week, um, but I do have another face product type thing to share with you that I was loving this week. Um, so how was your week? How was your weekend? Last weekend, how was your Memorial Day? Ours was awesome. We got away, took a little road trip for our anniversary. Our anniversary was on Tuesday. We've been married for eight years, so it was just great to be able to get away, hang out together. We did a lot of eating because we love to eat. That's one of our favorite things to do on vacation is just sit and relax and eat and talk and hang out. Um, I did a little bit of shopping, so I am planning on filming an anniversary trip haul video, so I don't know when I'll be able to film that and get that up, but it'll be coming soon, so watch for that. But yeah, how was your week? Let me know down in the comments section. I love chatting with you guys. Um, so anyway, lots to share as always, so let's jump in. Okay, for my nails this week, just really quickly, this has only been on my hands two days. I just put it on um, a couple of days ago. So the first part of the week I had gotten a manicure um, and I don't even know what the color was. It was like a dark purple color club color. I think I looked on the bottle and I couldn't even see the name. Like I couldn't find it anywhere. So I don't know. That's not helpful. Um, <laughs> but this is what I have on my nails right now. This is the um, this is what I hauled in my Ulta haul recently. This is the L'Oreal um, Nail Polish in Butterfly Kisses. It's just a really beautiful kind of pinky, um, purpley pink, more than pinky purple. More of a pink color um, with a little bit of purple in it. Kind of a cream sort of a shade. But it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. The formula was awesome on it. It applied really, really evenly. Um, I don't know about the wear time since I just put it on, but so far so good and I love the color. And then on my ring finger, I have a little bit of bling. This is one of the Julep polishes. This is in Barbara. Classic with a twist. And it's um, just a really beautiful, like, purpley kind of a glitter, pinky purple again, um, kind of a glitter. It's beautiful. I love it. And it's very, very um, dense with the glitter. But I did notice it was a little bit hard to, it would kind of like pull itself off. So I really had to let it dry and then kind of like place the glitter. So even though it had a lot of glitter in it, I kind of had to work with it to get it looking the way I wanted it to. But it's still beautiful. I love it. So that's what I've had on my nails at least the last couple of days. And then that other unknown color club purpley shade. Okay, since I didn't have a blush favorite, um, I was still wearing this one. This is the... See Me, Hear Me um, Extra Dimension Blush from the Alluring Aquatic Collection. I was wearing that pretty much all week and really, really loved it. But another face product that I was kind of using as bronzer slash blush, I was kind of bringing it up higher than I would my bronzer. This is the Extra Dimension um, Bronzer from the collection. This is in Aphrodite's Shell. I got this later. Like, I went to the store because I was just kind of interested in it. I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I love it. It is so nice. And the reason I'm showing this, because I know MAC collections can be like a frenzy and everything sells out. And I know this is, at least the last time I checked, it wasn't still available online, but I've been seeing it in almost every store I've been in recently, and I've been in several. So I mention it because you might still be able to find it in store somewhere. Um, but anyway, this is it right here. It's just a really nice light bronzer and it has a little bit of pink in it. So it's just, it's a really cool looking bronzer and it's just different. I feel like, I feel like it's not your typical bronzer. I don't know. I am wearing it. I don't even know if you can see it, but like I said, I was applying it like a contour, but just a little bit higher where it was kind of mixing with my blush and it just added this like nice warmth to the skin and with that little bit of just, I mean, a, the tiniest bit of pink, I don't even know if you can see it in the swatch because when I'm looking at the swatch right now, I don't really see it at all, but when I put it on my skin, it just, it seems different than other bronzers in some way. It's magical in some way. But um, again, the packaging is beautiful, but I really, really like the product inside. Um, I didn't think I would like it, but once I swatched it, and then especially once I put it on my skin, I love it, and I've been wearing it all week. Okay, for eyes this week, I brought my Naked palette when we went out of town, and I really haven't mentioned my Naked palette very much on my channel. Like, when I look back, I don't know if I've really mentioned it hardly at all. 
I know I have a couple of times, but just not a ton. It hasn't been in my favorites a lot, but um, I just love it. Like this is one of the palettes that when I go out of town, this is one that I grab. I just feel like I can get so many different looks with it. And it's just a really great basic palette. Like. I love getting creative at home and playing with a bunch of different colors and shades and everything like that, but when I go out of town I can get a little bit overwhelmed with like what am I going to take because I want to still be able to play. Um, but this is one that I, I really bring this a lot when we go out of town because I just love it. Like um, I did a look with um, Virgin and Sidecar and Dark Horse. I just love these. They pair beautifully together. So I did a look like that. And then I also did one with, um, I did a whole like just deep smoky eye. Um, one day when we were out of town, I was just feeling the smoky eye. And so I did dark horse over my, um, whole lid and then blended it up with, um, naked and buck. Just great, um, matte shades. But dark horse is just a really, really beautiful, rich, dark color. I love it. And it just, I mean, they blend like a dream. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes. I mean, it's a cult favorite. Everybody talks about it, but it's just a great staple. I don't need to really talk about it a lot because so many people do, but if you thought about getting the Naked palette and you're just kind of on the fence about it, don't forget about it. I mean, I know that it was kind of like it had its huge hype and then it's kind of down, died down a little bit, but people still love it. It just doesn't get the massive amounts of attention that it used to, but it's still just a great palette. And like I said, it's one that I definitely grab for when we go out of town because I have lots of options with it and I just love it. It's great quality, easy to use, and it always turns out beautiful. And then also with my Naked palette, I did a really pretty gold eye. I love gold eyeshadows, especially with blue eyes. I feel like it just really brings out blue. Um, I know that like coppers are supposed to be technically what brings out blue, but I feel like with my eyes, golds bring out more of my blue. I know that golds are also in that family to bring out blue, but I think opposite of the color wheel would be more of a coppery orangey shade. But for some reason, I feel like Golds bring out more of the blue. So I love golds on my lids. So anyway, I use these two products. So this first thing, this is the Sephora Crayon Jumbo, Jumbo Liner 12 Hour Wear. Yeah, it's the Jumbo Crayon. And this is in the color gold. That's easy. It's super creamy. It just glides on your eye. It's so easy to blend, but it doesn't like blend away. I want to get more of these because they are just like one of the best pencils. This is the first one. I think this is the first one I have in these and I just really, really love it. So I use that kind of as my base and honestly, you could just slap this on your lid and have a really great summery looking eye and be good to go because this is super pigmented. And then over it, I use the L'Oreal Infallible in Eternal Sunshine. Love this, love the infallibles. This is just a really great, light, beautiful golden shade. It's super pigmented, oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch it for you by itself and then I'm gonna swatch it over that pencil. Ooh yeah, so pretty. And my husband even said, me, said something about it when I was wearing this. So that's by itself. That is by itself, and that is over the pencil. So you can see the pencil just really brings out the vibrancy in it, and it also makes it just the tiniest bit darker because the pencil is a little bit more of a deep gold, whereas the um, infallible is kind of more of um, the lighter side of gold. But oh, they're just a beautiful combo together. Super metallic, really reflective, really, really brings out blue eyes, but also it would be beautiful on any eye color. Um, just gorgeous. So I love both of those products, but together I feel like they are awesome. And then for lips this week, because I was going with kind of more smoky eyes and dramatic eye looks, I was all about the nude lips and especially kind of like pinky nude, but this first one is just more nude. So this first product, this is the Buxom it's called the True Nude Lip Foundation, and it's called like a crayon base, basically, but it's pretty much like a lip crayon, um, and it's in the shade Nude. So they have a bunch of these in this line. This one, I think, is like the second one. Like, there were five or six of them. This one was the second one over, the second to the lightest. 
So this is in Nude. And this is very opaque. And it, I mean, when they say like foundation, like that it says lip foundation, I think, you know, the idea of it is that it really blanks out your lip color and just really gives you that nude lip. If you are wanting a nude lip, they have all different shades in this whole collection from, Buc from Buxom. And I just really love this. I mean, it was very kind of dramatic on my lips. I mean, it really blanks them out. So be prepared. You know, you may put it on your lips and go, whoa. I mean, you know, especially the lightest one would totally give you, I think, concealer lips. Um, but this one has a little bit more color and the other ones are definitely more of a deeper shades. So you've got some options there, but I loved it. I liked it. I wouldn't say I loved it. I liked it by itself, but once I used it, I felt like it needed something else with it. Um, because it just, I'm not used to seeing myself in that nude of a nude, kind of a brownie nude almost. It just, I wasn't used to it. So I had to add a little something. So I added this Buxom Gloss. This is one of my very favorites. This is in Pink Lady. And I picked a pink because I just wanted something that gave my lips a little bit more life back to them and just a little bit more color. This is just, oh, I love these glosses. They are my favorite. They really are my favorite glosses um, from like a high-end gloss. And really they're, they're like $19. So I mean, that's definitely, that's a higher priced gloss, but it's still, you know, it's not $30 for a gloss. That would be crazy. But anyway, it's right there. Just a really pretty pink. And I felt like over this, it kind of added something to it. So that's what it looks like by itself. I'm gonna swatch it for you over the other one. So there's that. Let me put it over the lip foundation. Yeah, it just kind of adds a little bit more pink to it, you know, because this is a pink gloss. I like that a lot. Very nice combo. Um, something I did notice to note, if you do this combo, um, it started to do the little like collecting in my lips, like the inner rim of my lips kind of a thing. Not every time I did it, and I wore this several days. This was like my go-to lip combo this week. Um, not every day, but one specific day, my husband pointed it out to me and he was like, do you have something going on with your lips? Um, and I looked and I'm like, oh, yes, <laughs> something is wrong. So, you know, it does that kind of thing. And I think it was because I just kind of kept layering it. I think I should have just like wiped everything off and started over. Um, so just kind of know that, but it's still a beautiful combo and it was no big deal. Like once I wiped it off my lips and started over, it was gorgeous again. But just be aware, it can kind of do that lip collecting sort of a thing. Um, but I still think it was just a gorgeous combo. And then I also wore Cream Cut this week. That's what I've got on right now. It's just a beautiful pinky nude. I love this. Oh, I've always been um, a fan of Max Angel. And I still really, really love Angel. But for some reason, Cream Cup has kind of taken... Um, the lead seat of my favorite kind of pinky nude shade. And I don't know why, like Angel is technically a frost and, and I say technically because it doesn't look super frosty. It looks more creamy to me, kind of creamy shiny. Um, whereas this one is a cream sheen. I don't know why I just like this one a little bit more. I think because it has a little bit more pigmentation to it and it's just that beautiful, creamy pinky nude love it and then i also wore it again with pink lady over it and actually that's what i've got on today so you can see what it looks like but just beautiful just a great like i wouldn't say this is a nude lip lip i would say this is kind of like a natural pinky lip and i just love the combo together so definitely i was totally into the kind of natural um natural but glossy lip look this week and a lot of times I don't go for glosses which is funny since I'm lip gloss Leslie but really I like lipsticks more um but sometimes I'm just really more into kind of the glossy look and this was definitely a week that I was more into that and really really loved this specifically but also you know these two products underneath it love them and again, I didn't have any fooies this week, so that was good. It was just all good products that I was enjoying. Don't you love that when it's just like, 
it's a happy makeup week when everything is working and you don't really run into any products that you just can't stand. So it was a happy makeup week for me, so I hope it was for you too. Um, so those are all my favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what things have you been loving this week or if you did have a fooey or a pooey or a whatever type product. <laughs> let me know what that was down below because I want to avoid it. Um, let me know how your Memorial Day was. I would love to hear that. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.